What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with another fraction lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about dividing mixed numbers by whole numbers using area models. So, without further ado, let's split it up and see what our objective is today. Now, hopefully, you're watching this after you just have already watched our dividing fractions by whole numbers lesson. If you have, you know that there are really two types of division, right? When we're trying to find out how many groups we can make or we're trying to figure out how many are in each group. And when you're dividing a mixed number by a whole number, it's going to be just like we even divided by a fraction by a whole number, our question we're going to be trying to answer today is how many are in, okay, how many are in each group? So we're going to be splitting it into groups of three for this one and trying to figure out how many are in each group. So let's set it up. So here's my two holes, right, and my one-fourth. So, of course, I'm going to go ahead and split them all into fourths, okay, just because it makes it a little bit easier here. Okay, there we go. And let me go ahead and highlight it. Okay, so here's my two holes and my one-fourth, right? And I want to split this into three groups. Because if I split into three groups, my answer or my quotient will tell me how many are in each group. So I'm going to go ahead and split this into thirds. Okay. And I'm going to split it all the way down only to right there. Okay. Because I'm only splitting my, um, my two and one fourth into three equal groups. I guess as equal as I can make it. Okay. And here's my one group right here. Here's one group, two groups right and three groups and my question that we're trying to answer is how many are in each group so each group has one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so my numerator is gonna be nine and remember my denominator is how many each hole is split into so when I'm looking at at that how many pieces was one hole split into when I split it into those three equal groups, and that would be 12, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my answer for this, each group has 9 twelfths. So 2 and 1 fourth divided by 3 equals 9 twelfths. Of course, you could simplify that, right, to 3 fourths, and that's acceptable too. Always simplify if you can, especially if you're in this advanced math group, right? So remember the steps. Go ahead and draw out your area model, right? If you have a highlighter, highlighting is great. Okay, split it into that denominator and then split it into uh, horizontally into however many groups you wanted. And you're trying to figure out if I make three groups, how many are in each group? Let's take a look at a we do problem. So here I have one and two fourths divided by four. Okay, so let me get my one whole and then enough for two fourths. And again, I want my denominator to be four. So vertically, I'm going to split these into fours. Okay, there we go. And let me highlight one and two fours. So here's my one whole, right? Here's my two fours that I have left over. And now I want to split that into four groups, right? So to do four groups, I like to split it into half and then split each half into half. There we go. Perfect. And really, you're going all the way down right here if you want. Um, I just stopped right here just to kind of make you see that I'm only really counting the one and two fourths that I'm splitting. But obviously, the denominator is how many each piece is split into. So if you need to do that to make yourself feel better, to be correct, that's great. And then, okay, here are my four groups. Let me just highlight, let me just circle one of them right here. And my question is, how many is in each group? Right? So one, two, three, four, five, six is my numerator. My denominator again is just how many one whole is split into now. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So my answer is six sixteenths, or I can simplify that to three eighths. Alright, so here we have a U try problem. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one out by yourself, go ahead and set up your models, and then try to divide it, figure out how many are in each group, and then push play when you're ready to check your work. So hopefully you went ahead and tried it. So let me go ahead and get my three holes right here. There we go. And one more for my one sixth. I'm going to split my three holes into six because that's what my denominator is. 
And again, I want to do that vertically. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight, or you could lightly shade in, right, your three holes. But having a highlighter makes it a little bit easier. So here's my three holes. And then one more sixth. So then what I want to do, right, is I want to split all of that into two equal groups. So you go ahead and just draw that line all the way down, split each of your holes into two equal pieces. Again, you could stop right here because that's really all you're counting, but we know really your denominator would be all the way down. And then, okay, here is my one group that I just made. Okay, how many are, well, two groups I just made. How many are in each of those? So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and your denominator, right, would be 12, because each hole is split into 12 equal pieces. So here I'm going to have an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and just turn that into a mixed number. And so if I had 3 and 1 6 divided into two equal groups, I would have one in seven twelfths in each group. So again, when you're dividing this way, you're think when you're starting with the mixed number and dividing by a whole number, or starting with a fraction divided by a whole number, you're thinking about trying to figure out how many are in each group, which is different than when we started with a whole number and divided it by a mixed number in our last lesson. All right, I think you're ready for the shortcut. No more having to draw models. Check out this next video and learn the shortcut for dividing mixed numbers and fractions.